World Panic Clues of a giant volcanic eruption lie beneath Naples. Supervolcanoes are among the world's most puzzling and poorly understood natural hazards. What distinguishes a supervolcano from a regular volcano is the amount of volcanic material it has ejected during previous eruptions, a measure of the volcano's explosive power. A supervolcano a is a volcano that has ejected more than 240 cubic miles of material and has reached a level 8, the highest threat, on the Volcanic Explosivity Index, or VEI according to the U.S. Geological Survey. The VEI measures how much debris is ejected, at what height, and how long the eruption lasted. Yellowstone, which erupted 2.1 million years ago, was one of the largest eruptions ever known. Recent eruptions from other famous supervolcanoes, including Long Valley in California, Toba in Indonesia, and Campi Flegre, have all been about the same size. Scientists have a 2,000-year record of activity at Campi Flegre. The pillars of the Roman Temple of Serapis in the town of Pozzuoli in the middle of the caldera, excavated in the 18th century, show evidence of holes made by mollusks, suggesting that they were once underwater. The temple's base is connected to the sea by a series of underground tunnels, and the heaving of the ground caused by bradycardia has allowed water to flood and then drain away from the building, making it possible to observe seismic phenomena over time. In 2016, the local government designated the Campi Flegre area as yellow, under its warning system, the second of four levels that go from green to red to indicate the danger to residents from ground movement. Italy's Civil Protection Agency said in October that it would move parts of the area to the next level, orange, given the intensity of recent activity. The INGV must now approve the level change, which it had expected to do since it had initially petitioned the Civil Protection Agency for the move. Raising the alert level to orange would allow civil protection agencies to more easily evacuate areas most vulnerable to the impacts of continued bradycardia and earthquakes and keep the most vulnerable populations safe, officials said. During a meeting with civil protection agencies and governments on November 7, the INGV also determined that 15,000 buildings, including 125 schools and other academic buildings, were at high risk. A directive will be released on November 27 outlining new protocols for evacuations, drills and the possible temporary relocation of some institutions from the area until the current bradycardia cycle subsides. What we expect depends on whether the land continues to rise. If it continues to move at its current rate, We expect the number of small earthquakes per day to fluctuate over the weeks from just a handful to hundreds, as was felt in mid-August and late September, said study co-author Christopher Kilburn, a professor of volcanology at University College London. Larger earthquakes are more likely during this period. This is a classic signal that the Earth's crust is stretching to breaking point. But that doesn't mean an eruption is inevitable. The same goes for any volcano that has been quiet for generations, study co-author Stefano Carlino, a volcanologist at the Vesuvius Observatory, said in a news release accompanying the paper. Campi Flegre could fall back into a new routine, rising and falling slowly, as seen at similar volcanoes around the world, or it could simply go quiet again, Carlino said. We can't be sure what will happen. The important thing is to be prepared for all possibilities. <laughs>